Hi everyone, today I'm gonna tell you about the differences between concentrated and distributed winding. First of all, let's know what are the concentrated and distributed winding. So the concentrated winding and distributed winding are two different configurations for arranging the coils in the stator or rotor of an electrical machine. In the electrical machines such as motors or generators, Concentrated and distributed windings refer to how the coils of wire are arranged within the machine's stator or rotor. So now let's see the differences. So in the concentrated winding, the arrangement of the coils are such that all coils are concentrated in a few slots, leading to a simpler layout. But in the distributed winding, coils are spread out over many slots, resulting in a more complex layout and coils are interconnected to form a distributed winding pattern. Here what is the meaning of the slot? So slot is a space or the cavity in the stator or the rotor of an electrical machine where the winding is placed. So these slots are designed to accommodate the winding coils which generate the magnetic field necessary for the operation of the machine. And the second difference is number of turns per coil. So in the concentrated winding, each coil has a large number of turns resulting in high inductance. Now here what is the meaning of the inductance? So inductance is the property of an electrical conductor that opposes any change in the current flowing through it. But in the distributed winding, each coil has a smaller number of turns reducing inductance. And the third difference is cooling. So in the concentrated winding, less effective cooling is there due to the tighter packing of coils, potentially leading to a higher operating temperatures. But in the distributed winding, it allows for better cooling due to the dispersed arrangement of coils, enhancing the thermal performance. Fourth difference is on the manufacturing complexity. So the concentrated windings are simpler to manufacture due to the straightforward coil arrangements. But the distributed windings are more complex to manufacture due to the need for the careful placement of coils leading to the increased manufacturing time and the cost. Fifth difference is on the inductance. So the concentrated windings have lower self inductance due to the shorter coil lengths. Now here what is the meaning of this self inductance? The self inductance in the easy way we can understand this by see when current start flowing through a wire it creates a magnetic field around the wire now if we try to change the amount of current flowing through the wire that magnetic field don't like change so it fights against it that is the self inductance the wires own magnetic field resisting changes in the current flowing through it but in the distributed winding higher self inductance is there due to the longer coil lengths so the next point is on the circulating currents. So in the concentrated windings, higher risk of circulating currents between adjacent coils which can cause additional losses in the heating. But in the distributed winding, circulating currents are minimized due to the dispersed arrangement of the coils, reducing losses. The next is circuit path. So in the concentrated winding, the conductors have a shorter path resulting in lower resistance and the losses. But in the distributed windings, the conductors have a longer path resulting in higher resistance and the losses. The next difference is on the basis of the fault tolerance. So the concentrated windings are less tolerant to the short circuits and insulation failures due to the high concentration of the coils. But the distributed windings are more tolerant to the short circuits and the insulation failures due to the distributed nature of the coils as faults are less likely to propagate throughout the windings. Now the next point is on the end turns. Now first of all what are the end turns? So end turn refers to the part of the winding that are located at the ends of the coil. These turns are necessary to connect the coil to the external circuit. So the concentrated windings usually have more end turns which may lead to increased copper losses and susceptible to the insulation damage. But the distributed windings generally has fewer end turns reducing copper losses and improving reliability. The last point is on the basis of the application. So the concentrated windings are commonly used in small to medium sized machines where simplicity and cost effectiveness are the priorities. And the distributed windings are preferred for the large machines where high power, efficiency and reliability are the critical such as in the generators and large motors. 
so the distributed windings offer several advantages including reduced harmonics and improved fault tolerance so each type has its own advantages and is suited to different applications based on the factors such as the cost performance and the size so thank you everyone